Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know what resonance is and can identify different resonance forms or resonance structures for a particular molecule that is capable of resonance. But what else can we say about these resonance forms? Are they always equivalent? Let's get some more details. One of the main things to keep in mind is that resonance is only possible when atoms can accommodate the delocalization of pi electrons, which are found in pi bonds and lone pairs, not the sigma electrons found in sigma bonds or single covalent bonds. Each resonance structure must be a valid Lewis structure, so if pushing a pi bond over one would require that a carbon accept a fifth bond, it's not possible, and that pi bond will remain completely localized right where it is. Atoms will accept lone pairs or pi bonds either when they can also lose a bond or if they are positively charged and need an additional electron domain to neutralize. This will become more and more intuitive as we learn more organic chemistry. Next, we must always recall that individual resonance forms are not real. They do not exist. They are simply a formalism with which we can describe bonding and reactivity. It is the composite resonance structure, or resonance hybrid, which truly exists. This is the combination of all the valid resonance forms, which frequently results in partial pi electron density about a certain portion of the molecule. Take benzene, for example. This has two resonance forms, depending on where the pi bonds sit but the composite has pi electron density delocalized around the entire ring. So individual resonance forms will be important to be able to draw when describing how that molecule does chemistry, but we must always be aware of the resonance hybrid. Lastly, let's be aware that individual resonance structures do not always contribute equally to the resulting composite resonance structure. More electronegative elements are better at accommodating formal negative charges because they hold on to the negative charge tightly to stabilize it. So if there are two resonance structures, one in which a carbon bears a negative charge and the other in which an oxygen bears a negative charge, the latter will be more strongly contributing to the composite. The other is still valid, and the pi electrons will be delocalized as we would expect, but the composite will skew somewhat towards this resonance structure and resemble it more closely than it does the other. By the same token, more electropositive elements are better at accommodating formal positive charges. This means that given another situation involving oxygen and carbon, the structure that has the positive charge on the carbon atom will be more favorable and thus more strongly contributing to the composite. In addition, resonance structures that have fewer formal charges and more neutral atoms are more favorable than those with more formal charges. And lastly, it is the case that from the standpoint of thermodynamics, the resonance hybrid is more stable than any individual resonance structure. Again, resonance will be a key concept that crops up constantly in almost every reaction and every mechanism we will study. So make sure to sit with this a bit longer if you need to. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.